Alright, so it's been like years since I've made a video and uh, I've got two hours spare so I figured uh, why not, you know? So uh, this is Project Ozone 2, it's a Minecraft mod pack, it's still in beta so I had to do some really weird stuff because it updated and I had to delete mod files and stuff to get it to actually launch. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I do have a separate world or a separate account or whatever that um, is in Titan mode. Uh, I won't be doing Titan mode. I'll just be doing it normal. For the YouTubes, world type needs to be Garden of Glass. Okie dokie. Oh my god. That is cheaty as fuck. I have not seen that before. Did not know that was part of the thing. That's handy, having a whole other island to go to. Let me just build a tree real quick. Build a tree. Plant a tree real quick. Now this mod pack has a tree growing simulator. And what that means is I can make trees go really really quick by standing the shift button doesn't work super well because of that is right next to it but uh, it'll grow eventually there we go it also has a vegan miner so if I hold the tilde or grave key I can mine everything that's connected so all of the wood and let me build up to the island oh my god I have vanilla Oh, this is terrible. I'll be back. Okay, so I made an intro for the other video, but then I realized I was on the default texture pack, so I decided to fix my original game install and play on the original client, which has the texture packs that I wanted already. Okay, so um, we're in. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is uh, there's no world. This is a skyblock map, and the idea is to use this quest book thing here, go through, complete quests, and, you know, rebuild. This is a chance cube. It is, if you know what the Lucky Blocks mod is, this is basically Lucky Blocks not very fun half the time and not something I want to do when I'm just starting out big tree I've got vein miner installed so I can get rid of all the wood straight away kind of cheaty but you know whatever okay time to build out now this mod pack also has the, um, I don't know what mod it is actually, probably tree growing simulator, um, that lets you get cobblestone if you shift right click on the ground with empty hand, you get these little stone pebbles, and four of those make cobblestone. The reason why I'm doing it out of wood is because I'm going to want to be breaking these down with vein miner. Um, and if I have a cobblestone platform and I vein mine the cobblestone platform, I'm going to have a very, very bad time of it. Let me just build out a bit more. But that'll do for now. Get rid of this dirt. Don't need that. Now let's get some more trees growing. That is going to be the best use of my time. That is just shocking. Good goal. Is this okay? I'm gonna put that one. Trees, 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 that's never going to grow. It has the Britannia Mana Flash on top of it, so that's just never going to grow. Could break it, but having the extra light source there is 
pretty handy. Got my saplings. Alright, that should hold me over wood wise for the first little bit. Get the stuff inside the room. Alright. One of the first things that you want to do is get yourself some Tinker's stuff set up which is basically just a couple of like patterns, crafting table, make two crafting tables, and we will get our Tinker's set of tools set up. So crafting table, blank pattern gives you a tool station, piece of wood gives you a central table, a log gives you a part builder, and I don't have a chest yet. chest gives you a pattern chest. Let's turn this into a uh, tool sta uh, crafting station rather, just so it looks nice. So crafting station, part builder, which was that? Pattern chest, tool station, stencil table. Uh, okay. Let's open up my reward bag that I got for playing that first quest. Jukebox. Great. Fantastic. That was the wrong book. Okay. Next we need to make a crook. Okay. We can make a crook. Crook is just sticks. In an upside down L shape. Crooks are pretty good. They let you get silkworms. And they also increase sapling drop count. Uh, silkworms are how you get string early on, so you can get wool. Grow, 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 grow. Excellent. Oh, that's a big tree. Um, okay. Well, there goes my crook. That lasts a long time. Simpleworm out of that. Don't think I did. Oh well, I need to get rid of this tree. I need to make an axe. So with that, I need flint. Flint is the earliest way to get an axe, I believe. So to get flint, we need gravel. To get gravel, we need stone. Stone, we need to do some of this. Alrighty. Let's make some more sticks. Go like that. And we have a wooden hammer. The wooden hammer lets you compress, well, compress, break down cobble into gravel and gravel into sand, sand into dust. This is why I wanted to make it out of wood so I could vein mine on the cover without accidentally mining at the platform I was standing on. Okay, uh, gravel... Actually, let's get a silk one first. That's gonna be... Otherwise I'm gonna be staying and waiting for gravel forever. And a sieve helps me get gravel a lot quicker. I didn't put it in. You can't shift click into there? Thought you could. Okay. I uh, actually want to cook that. I am starting to 
I lose track of what I'm doing. That's just great. Kazoko, excellent. Okay, let's infect a tree over here, away from the Mana Flash, with the Silkworm. You can see that the leaf changes colour, eventually, you'll see in the top, you've got an infesting status bar. When that gets to 100%, it'll start infesting the other leaves around it. And once you break an infested leaves, you get a piece of string or two. Okay, so, Crook, pick one. Crafting task, need to make six oak barrels. I can do that. Put these in there. Great, excellent. Glad I got that as a reward. So this mod pack being early doesn't have much in the way of normal um, rewards, so this having an extra reward up here is kind of rare. Usually they're just chance cues and hearts. Um, I'm hoping that in the future the mod pack will uh, expand so it has useful rewards in there. Uh, it might not. Uh, these rewards away. But basically everything, all the rewards that you get are coming from your reward satchels. Um, and they're pretty standard. Which is kind of annoying. Okay. Let's make 64 cobblestone. Yep, I can do that, 64 cobblestone. So that uh, I'll be back okay 64 cover mark that one off oh, never mind you gotta craft a no oh, yes sorry about that hiccup there okay furnace Playing that didn't get anything interesting jukebox with a freaking record in it don't need that anymore. Okay, 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 mob farm. I uh, don't know if I want to do that just yet. I really want to work on getting a sieve set up. Uh, I'm going to wait for this tree to become fully infested and then I will be back. I might do some grindy stuff in the meantime. Alrighty, this tree is mostly infested. Entirely infested. Okay, uh, I need to make another crook because I used up my other one. And on that, take the ladder. Okay, now you should see that we have a lot of string. I also set up the oak barrels over here. So um, the way these work is when it rains, I'm in a ocean slime biome. Fantastic. Uh, when it rains, um, water will fill up these barrels, that's how you get uh, a lot of water early game. Uh, we don't need that because we've got this and the water source down there, so we can make an infinite water source already. So uh, to fill these oak barrels you can use saplings or when you get iron and shear some leaves you can use leaves and this will get you some dirt production on the go. Uh, we do have a fair amount of dirt below us but I don't want to scaffold down at the moment because I'm pretty freaking lazy. Okay, what do we have, well yeah, we're working towards a sieve at the moment. Now a sieve requires a silk mesh, uh, uh, it requires two silk meshes rather, so make two of these, they go there, there, two wood, and two sticks, give us an oak sieve. Okay. Now we want to get some flint, so we'll start sieving down gravel, uh, much like pulverizing gravel or just breaking gravel in vanilla Minecraft. Um, a sieve will give you a higher chance of getting flint, which is great because we are looking for flint. 
to fruit. That is enough. Make a. Uh, actually, we'll make a. Um, manic. Uh, shovel. Uh, make a easy pot builder. Doot, doot, doot. And to the station, make a medic. And now this will see us through cutting down and farming and all that stuff. All right. What is next on the quest book? Like the Tinker, we did that straight away. Get rubber saplings and seeds. Now this is why I want to get dirt production on the go because rubber saplings have a 2% chance of dropping from sieving dirt. That means you can sieve 50 bits of dirt and still not get any at all. Um, last time I did this in the other Titan world that you saw before, I sieved almost a thousand bits of dirt before I finally got a rubber sapling. It was um pretty ridiculous okay actually we'll leave one dirt in our chest here so we can always bring it all and we will start going for the rubber and the vanilla seeds that looks like a rubber sapling to me now do we have any vanilla seeds? we do not Let's keep going. Melon seeds. Oh, fuck. Oh, and the plus side, we got seeds. So, yeah. Let me just like, step, finish off seeing that. Okay. That went really, really well. Um, like I said, normally I don't get quite so lucky with that. Oh, I made a book. As well, let me just toss that there. Get rid of all of the books. So, toss you in there, toss you in there, toss you in there. Uh, let's pick Tanya, chop in there as well. Yeah. We have some reward bags to open as well. Oh, great. Oh, that's pretty nice actually. Um, These, I can't place them down because you can't break them, you can't get them up again without like breaking them entirely. Um, but they're pretty nice. They give light source and they're a wall. Uh, see you down there. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I've rubber sapling. Uh, rubber tree seed. Plant that. Grow you. Uh, rain on this. And hopefully I get a sapling out of this, otherwise... Oh, yeah. That's something that happened. I didn't get a sapling out of the... Um, actually, I did, but it dropped off the edge. And that was heartbreaking. Okay. Have a sapling. Uh, lava gen. I can work towards that, I guess. But I don't have any water yet. Montage 2. I still haven't done this even in the Titan world because this is just completely useless to me. I don't care. Uh, probably, yeah. It's probably good to start in this chapter of the book. So we need to make a seed analyzer, which is glass, which is sand. Ugh. Let's open up the reward bag we got. Never seen this reward before. That looks terrifying. Do I just like. I'm not gonna touch that yet. Uh, let's make a cobblestone hammer. Get rid of 
and we will break this down into just gravel for the time being. Do I have my builder's wand? That's something else I did while I was waiting for that tree to grow. I made a stone builder's wand, which is really easy to make. Um, that is a stone wand. From the Better Builders Ones mod, uh, really easy to make. Um, and it is just like a normal builder's wand, except it's obviously not as much range and a lot less durability. And you can't build on top just yet. Uh, you need a diamond wand for that. But still pretty handy, especially with Rain Miner. just another one of those things that's in this mod pack to um, reduce early game grindiness. Um, gravel. Let's go sieve the gravel and see what we get. I will be back once this 56 is sieved. Alright, so we're almost done sieving this stack of gravel. I have no idea what I've gotten yet because I've been AFK. Let's find out. Ooh, almost a stack of iron. Excellent. Now, the stone hammers can also be used to break down this stuff. Uh, let me just... And pull the one that out. And... Break that down into crushed iron. Which turns into iron or sand. You break down into iron or dust. My stone wand is dead. Okay, I'll make a new one of those. Except I can't because I don't have cobble. Guess I'll do this the old school way. And the dust. That powdered. Becomes smeltable. Alright, let's make 18 iron, because I don't have a smelter yet, so I don't have any way to double the dust. Uh, smelter is something I can work on, but I don't want to be breaking open the floor to get buckets. And oh. So, my recording time has ticked over 30 minutes. Uh, I think that's a good place to call this. Um, a lot of the early game stuff is pretty boring, there's not a lot going on. Um, I will actually jump over to my Titan world and show you how that's all looking. Uh, if you'd want me to continue doing stuff like this, let me know. Um, like I said, I haven't really uploaded anything in like two or three years, so I don't even know if I've got any subscribers on that channel. I haven't logged into that channel in the same amount of time. Um, guess we'll find out. Uh, for now, we'll can this world and jump over to Titan real quick. So this is my other one, the Titan version of the pod pack that I was playing just by myself. Um, if this is the sort of thing that interests you, we will be working towards this in the single player. Um, this is still pretty basic, like I've got no power gen at all, besides you know this which generates 160 RF tick, which isn't that much. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, if this is something that interests you, let me know, and I might consider making more of these. Um, I don't have a lot of free time, so don't expect this to be a regular thing in the slightest. Uh, that's it for now, and uh, might see you guys next time.